Good evening, Tammy Wheeler. Um, I'd like to thank you, Councilman uh, Wheeler, for coming over there, making sure that that debris was removed. And I also spoke thank to you, Ms. Thomas, about it as well. And there's something else that I need to speak to you about later. Um, my question is now, this bond money that you guys are talking about, this six million or 11 million cap, um, with you all being in the financial, uh, have, with the problems that are going on here financially, even though you said that you only have to pay half of it back, is that what you're saying? Like, you'll pay 50% of what you borrow back? What you get, yeah. Wow. Um, now, is that going to be enough to take care of the problems that are here? Because it seems to me that you spent way more than 11 million dollars worth of problems here. Yeah. So, you know, I'm just wondering if this is going to be uh, another financial law that you're going to have later on it's a in year. back. So I'm just wondering if this is a good decision to make. I mean, I don't know. But um, one other thing, too, I want to speak about. I noticed you all have those new lights, those real nice lights that are up there on Terrace and uh, Terrace. Um, no, yeah, no, the rest of Noble mm -hmm. Taylor. Now, I noticed those lights have been blinking for quite some time. Now, by them being so new, don't you have some type of warranty where they can come out and repair them? I was just wondering because, I mean, they're practically new. They're only like, what, three months old at the most? And that's a dangerous area for those lights to be blinking like that kind of So that was just, you know, one of my concerns I wanted to ask you about. Okay, and one more question, and I'm done. Um, now, about the house that uh, the last meeting that you were talking about that uh, was over there on uh, Oak Hill, one, one question I want to ask now, if this a lot, of, it seems like it's a lot of confusion about that property, uh, you all got developers that are in here buying properties and buying land. Have they thought about selling it to a developer to keep down all the confusion between the residents and other people that are coming from the outside that want to buy that property and let a developer just uh, buy the property and they tear it down and do whatever they're going to do with it and possibly you'll get more for the land than what it's worth? If a developer comes in and offers you uh, a price for it, because it seems like it's a lot of confusion about that property. I mean, I went and saw it and it's really not worth it to me because it'll take 50,000 to fix it. Thank you. 